you know what I like about those buildings? They, you know, those are brand new dorms right there. They look like they were built a hundred years ago. There must be some incredible capital campaign to build those because okay. that was a parking lot at one time. And the construction company that is building them, uh, I mean, they are staying true to some of the original structures at the university. It's kind of cool. Hey, we're talking about guacamole tonight on the Saturday night discussion. And were you or weren't you a guac fan? Not you weren't. Fan. Not a fan. But you Negatory. liked but you liked the guacamole at El Limon. I love it at El Limon. All right, but then you recently told me about another type of guacamole that you had. From where? The Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> what what makes Walmart guacamole good? It made such an impression on you. I mean, you couldn't stop talking about it. Well, it wasn't... Um, some guacamole, I think, tends to be like lemony and vinegary. Yeah. And a little chunky. Yeah. And I don't like that. So this was very creamy. It had tons okay. of garlic in it. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. I didn't really detect many other spices in it. But was it raw was garlic or roasted garlic? I think it was roasted. Okay, did it have any other spices that you're aware of? Any like minced onions or anything that you're aware of? I think of? it did, but it was so creamed in it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. You didn't, you didn't get so it. So was it juice. more like a pudding? Like a like a puree? Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Delicious. See, I tend to like the chunkier ones. I like the ones that, you know, don't look like that they were put through a processor or something. Um, see, I, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. And usually I like chunks. I like mm-hmm. texture in my food. Yeah. But with guacamole, I like it smooth. You know, you can use guacamole in the same way that um, you would use mayonnaise or something on a sandwich. You can actually make tuna with guacamole rather than mayonnaise. That would be have, good. have you ever had that? Uh-uh. I've never had that. Um, my mayo though. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I think I they have an like avocado that. mayo out. I think Hellman's has something with avocado. Do they really? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to imagine the taste of fish Ew. and <laughs> avocado oh. together. I mean there are two flavors that I like individually, but together I don't know. I'm I haven't eaten enough of the avocado or guacamole yet to, to play around with it in other recipes, but I try it. Yeah. That might be good. Yeah. The avocado was pretty pretty bland. I don't think it would interfere with the fish, do you? Plus well, you gotta get albacore or you can't get any other canned tuna but albacore. Right. You can't get the chunk light. Ew. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> chunk light is like garbage. It's just it's just like minced <laughs> very fishy. Stuff that they sweep off dark the Dark meat, I don't like any dark meat. Yeah. Oh. Nope. So yeah, that the Walmart Shea brand mm. of guacamole well, is you know, you know, we were talking about how you can actually uh, spread guacamole. You can spread, gu- <coughs> excuse me, choking on nothing. You can spread guacamole on toast like you would spread butter. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Rice cakes. Right? Mm, I don't know. I draw the line you at the rice, like rice cake. Cakes? Nah, it's like to me that's like that reminds me of like packing styrofoam. You got to get Quaker brand and the buttered popcorn flavor. Okay, that's the best. Right. They have oh, wait, wait, wait. Too, which is good. You got that for me once. No, I didn't. I never bought you that. At the salon, you yes, rice you cake? did. Yes, you did. I bought you so much stuff, sweetheart. I'm pretty <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> So much. George George is a very pampered guy where yeah. he's concerned. He gets yeah. anything he wants. Right, right. So, yes, I did get you the rice cakes. Right. I do remember that. I think they were cheddar cheese. I think so. You got, yeah. Mm hmm. They're about the size of like a half dollar, right? Small ones. They weren't like these big, they were like this. Uh, little ones? Yeah. Little ones. Yeah, you brought me a you bag. Sure it wasn't that. Um, you brought me a bag of those things. That. Uh, it was it was that cheese stuff it was like a the baked cheese baked cheese you yeah. got me those too okay so yeah we didn't get them confused with that no okay. no yeah all right george is pampered 
So are you ready for some guacamole? I'm hungry. Yeah. But I think we have to go to a movie first. I think so. Because George said so. So yeah. I'm giving in tonight. Yeah. I don't even know what the movie is. It's a surprise. No, it's a surprise. I bet yeah. you it's Rocket Man. Yeah, right. Oh, God, I hope not because I don't like Elton John. No, no, no. Brenworth Theater. Let's see. Go slow, go slow. Oh, Psycho? Yeah, right. We're going to go Psycho? see Psycho. No, no. But I do have to find parking. It can never be anything. And, uh, let's see. It's all let's see George here. Wants to see. All That's what we need to do is find parking. Anyways, over and out for the Saturday night discussion. We're going to see... <laughs> We're going to see where uh, the guacamole tour takes us. takes us tonight. So, peace out, everybody. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> That's a wrap. Cut. Cut. <laughs>